Now, perfect weather leading up, but changes are headed this way at the end of the week. Yeah, and the nicest day this week is going to be Wednesday. So if you're picking a day to be outside, it would be Wednesday because tomorrow there's a small chance of rain. Thursday looks stormy, and then it gets a lot colder. Let's take a look at this big. This is really the big story for the whole week. It's this storm system that moves into the central plains on Thursday. And here in Tyler and in Lufkin and all over East Texas, we'll watch this cold front. We'll watch this dry line. The dry line could spark a few showers and thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. Then the cold front could spark a few showers and thunderstorms that could be severe Thursday night. I'm going to go deeply in depth into that coming up tonight at six o'clock. But right now we have a slight risk of severe weather area wide. Again, this is Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night into Friday morning. And then behind that, look how much cooler it is. Friday morning down to 40, Saturday morning, 35, Sunday morning, 33. I don't know if you remember about a week and a half ago, I said don't plant yet. We had some colder air coming and it didn't arrive this week. It's just kind of been delayed a little bit, but it's eventually showing up now and it's coming in this weekend and into next week. These are frosty readings. Some areas away from Tyler, away from Longview might make it down to 29 degrees. So we may have another freeze. Not tonight, but it will be chilly as we drop into the low 40s. For instance, Gilmer tonight down to 40 degrees. Nacogdoches down to 43, Lufkin down to 47, Henderson down to 41, and we'll have a northeast wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour, so it's going to be chilly. Then tomorrow we have an easterly wind with a few clouds here and then some light rain showers working their way through the area, mainly late tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. It's with a little reinforcing shot of cooler air that really just drops the temperature briefly here Wednesday morning because Wednesday afternoon the temperatures take off as the winds turn to the southeast. We're looking at high temperatures easily into the low 70s. So Wednesday, nicest day of the week with high temperatures approaching 74 in Tyler, 74 at Jacksonville and Henderson, 74 at Nacogdoches, maybe upper 70s, Crockett, Groveton and at Lufkin. The temperature outlook, though, as we go into this weekend and beyond all the way up through March 23rd, colder than average temperatures are likely. Average high is 71 now, average low is 49. We're looking at days where the highs are in the 50s and morning lows are in the 30s. And again, that's going to last through the 23rd to 24th of the month, and then things will start to improve. All right, forecast for tonight. Few clouds, chilly northeast wind. Otherwise, that March chill drops us to 41 overnight with an east-northeast wind at 6 miles an hour. Wind speeds tomorrow, not too bad. Out of the east, pretty steady at about 7 to 11 miles an hour with gusts up to 16 miles an hour. Bill Scott and White, Texas Spine Joint Hospital, seven-day forecast. More clouds, cool day, scattered showers, only a 30% chance, and it's in the afternoon, but the high tomorrow, 59. Best day of the week, easily, Wednesday, 71. Thunderstorms Thursday, up to about 73. Much colder, St. Patrick's Day, down to 55. Then a frosty morning, Saturday, 35, and near freezing Sunday morning, as we drop to 33. Again, we'll go in depth on that severe weather setup for Thursday and look at the 10 day forecast tonight at 6.